Gordon Faber was a community member for many years in Hillsboro. Uh, he served on a variety of different boards and commissions. He was a two-term uh, city councilor, and then he was also mayor during the 1990s for two terms as well. So he had a very significant impact on the city of Hillsboro, and that's one of the reasons why this complex was named after him. So it was uh, late 2011 when the city of Hillsboro was originally contacted and expressed interest in this. And it took several months of talking and, and making sure we could do it. And by, I think it was June 2012, is when uh, we actually were able to reach an agreement. And we had about one year. Uh, and so we were able to get a contract underway and had a design build process. And one of the big benefits is we were already using an existing facility, we were just building onto it. And so we were able to utilize and capitalize on some of the infrastructure that was already in place here. So that certainly helped. And then uh, just big shout out to the staff that were involved. Amazing job with them working with our contractor to make sure this got done in, in such a remarkable speed. The Hillsborough School District has enjoyed such a long and beneficial partnership with the City of Hillsborough and we are so grateful for all of the opportunities that you've made available to our students, especially our student athletes with the building of the Gordon Faber Recreation Complex. We have had a wonderful opportunity for our baseball teams to be able to play on turf fields when their own fields have been rained out. Our football teams have been able to utilize the stadium when their own home fields haven't been suitable for large games like that. Our high school activity participants like cheer and dance team and color guard and marching band have all been able to utilize these facilities to practice, do their formations, do their cheers, do their dance routines, and really get the sense of the space that they need to work within for the competitions. I think any time government or non-governmental organizations can uh, braid funds together and make the best use of taxpayer dollars, that's a win-win for everybody. And certainly with the building of the Gordon Faber Recreation Complex, the Hillsborough School District has been able to take advantage of these facilities without having to expend funds of its own or bond for those types of expenditures. So that's been a tremendous value to the Hillsborough School District. In 2011, we were doing as much work as we could to relocate the team to the Portland Metro. With the Beavers leaving, that it opened up the territory for us and our league to move a team here. We spent a lot of time in Vancouver, Washington, a lot of time in Beaverton, a lot of time in Portland, and someone introduced us to Hillsborough. And our first question was, where's Hillsborough? set up a meeting out here and um, we came right to this site where Hillsborough Stadium is and we toured the facility and the first thought was wow they really take care of their facilities here and, and we knew from that day that if we could figure this out this would be a perfect landing spot for us. The biggest reason we chose Hillsborough was they decided to build a stadium. <laughs> We didn't have the funds to build our own ballpark. There was, there was just no way. And so we needed some sort of municipal partnership that would, that would take on the upfront cost of the ballpark. And Hillsborough really beat everyone to the punch. The city is always looking for ways to enhance our community's livability, right? And when there's an opportunity to bring a professional baseball to the city, I mean, how awesome is that? So I think we were able to jump on it and it formed a great relationship. Facilities are all about experience. There are certain experiences where people are drawn to because there's star power to see Damian Lillard play or something like that. Minor League Baseball has never been about star power. Minor League Baseball is truly about the experience and the facility really is the driving force to what that experience is like. So it's quality food and beverage, it's easy access in and out, it's comfortable seating, it's fun. You know, Minor League Baseball is all about fun. It's the fireworks, it's the pregame concerts, it's the giveaways, it's the kids running the bases after the games, it's getting autographs from the players and that accessibility. And facility design is what drives a lot of those experiential factors. We were in a unique situation with our team not being able to cross the border this year to go back to Vancouver to play our season. 
And we had a number of options of places to go, and we chose Hillsboro. I knew it was the right choice before we even made our decision. The facilities are first class. The willingness and the support of the local municipality, from the mayor's office down to the city manager to the Parks and Rec Department, are really something I've never seen in any other community I've worked in. It's a beautiful complex. It is AstroTurf, which helps with the wearability and the playability of the field. Because you have the baseball stadium and the football stadium side by side, it allowed us to have clubhouse space or locker room space. I think the most important thing this year and the priority for us was to be able to play. We have to get pitchers innings, we have to get hitters at bats. Where Hillsborough is located within our geographic league really cut down a lot of our travel. By playing Hillsborough the hops as many times as we did, in reality, in a 120-game season, we had 78 games here in this building. We've had a wonderful time here, and we certainly thank and owe everybody in the community a, a huge thank you for giving us a home away from home for the 2020 season. The uniform program we put together a few years ago called the Sonia Doris to Hillsboro um, stands for Dreamers. The Dreamers is such a connective term. Uh, everyone has a dream, whether it's a kid that's dreaming of playing pro baseball, whether it's a player on our team that's dreaming of playing in the big leagues. And we're, all, we're all dreamers. And so we just felt that, that was such a great unifying term of bringing people together from all walks of life, every ethnic backgrounds. And uh, last year, as playing as Sonia Doris in 2019, uh, we won every game playing in those uniforms. So the players have embraced it, the community's embraced it. Uh, so it's been a big hit. We're an organization that puts on events around the entire state of Oregon, uh, both sports and activities, and to have a partnership with uh, a group like the City of Hillsboro in this particular complex provides so many opportunities for our student athletes around the state. We have soccer playoffs and championships, football playoffs and championships here year after year, and our schools look forward to coming you know, from all corners of the state from the east in Ontario and the, and the south and Gold Beach and all these different areas in between, uh, coming out here knowing that it's going to be a, a great facility for them. They're going to, to be able to enjoy the contest, uh, have a good experience, have plenty of parking, those types of things that all go towards a successful event. And our teams love it here. The facilities, obviously the, the fields, the, the locker room capacity, certainly our fans and communities as well with uh, the amenities, the concessions and, and all those things that come with really what we view as a big time facility for our schools. Again, these are, these are more than just regular season games. Uh, these are state playoffs, they're state championships, and really they're, they're talking about memories that people will have for a lifetime. And so to be able to come to a facility like this is just outstanding for us and for our kids. Lightopia is a festive winter light display. We like to call it an illuminated journey because it is actually a drive-through event here at Gordon Faber Recreation Complex where people drive in their cars around the roadway that encircles the rec complex. There are so many opportunities at a facility like this that is not just the athletic fields. And we really learned that with Lightopia because we were able to have 20,000 cars come through during that season. And we reached you know, up to 80,000 people during that event. The size and scale of this facility lends itself to those sorts of opportunities. Also thinking about our drive in movies, you know, that large parking lot, that large footprint that can have that giant blow up screen and then rows and rows and rows of parking spaces so that we could socially distance. It was just really a unique opportunity to be able to think outside the box. My wife and I, we have two sons. Uh, we've come out to a number of events here at the facility and it's really that sense of family that we have. We're talking about building communities, coming out with our friends, coming out with you know cousins and relatives and, and coming to these events and watching them take place, being able to cheer people on and, and be a part of such a wonderful area, such a wonderful complex for people to have that chance to get out and, and experience, you know, just being together, having that opportunity makes a big difference. And there's, there's not a lot of places that have that type of facility and certainly this is one of them. 
So for the past few years, the city of Hillsboro has um, presented a, an annual Pride event to celebrate LGBTQ month and to really lift up and make visible our LGBTQ members of the community. And historically, we've had that event at a plaza in our city. We realized that this year we couldn't do it uh, safely at that location. So we really had to pivot and think differently again and look at our facilities. Where could we do something like this? And it was just immediately evident that holding it outdoors at the stadium complex was the right choice. People traditionally wear, you know, rainbow colors, so it was a very colorful event. And there was lots of dancing and singing up in the stands. But really the most heartwarming moment for me and I think for the rest of the staff was as people were leaving, a young LGBTQ teen came up to us and they said, you know, <laughs> I'm just so grateful that I live in a city like Hillsboro because I feel seen and I feel recognized and I feel celebrated and thank you. So that for me was just a really important moment and I was so happy to be able to provide that. Communities need this type of facility. Everybody wants to have an event, whether it's a sports event, whether it's a, an event in the community for an organization. There's so many reasons to have this type of facility. It makes sense. It's, it's well-funded. It's exceptionally managed. It's manicured. It's professionally run. You know, we talk a lot in our office about the power of sport and, and the power of sport for students to be with each other, uh, to be with their peers, to be with their coaches, and what, the, what that can mean for a team and a, and a school and in a greater sense of community. And I think that's what we see here with this facility. It's the power of sport. We have this amazing complex here. It's an opportunity for people to come in, uh, to recreate, uh, to be around each other, to have that sense of community. Uh, and you just don't see that everywhere else. I am so glad that the city of Hills Road took this leap of faith to build this complex. You know, kind of like field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. I really feel like this has been such a benefit to the greater Hillsborough community. It's brought in so many different types of activities and I think you just see the potential for how many aspects of the community can be brought together in a space like this and when they're having events here you really are given so much support and encouragement to to bring the community in and to just make it the best event it can possibly be. Just because there's a global pandemic doesn't mean that your community doesn't still have needs and doesn't mean that there isn't still a job to be done with providing opportunities for recreation and opportunities for celebration and entertainment. And honestly, the Gordon Faber Recreation Complex has sort of been that magic for us because it's an outdoor complex. We've been able to use every bit of it, you know, including the parking lot. I think looking into the future, we just have more options available to us. The next 30 years are going to be incredible. I mean, we want to be the best minor league franchise in the country. We want to have the best player development experience in the country. Uh, we want to have the best partner in the Arizona Diamondbacks. We want to have the best fan experience in the country and we want to continue to develop a facility that's going to attract the best events. So whether those are national events, regional events, international events, we want to develop this facility into something that is bringing big time events to Hillsboro. And we wouldn't be able to do that without a strong partner with, with the city. I think we share that vision, whether it's big time concerts, big time national tournaments, spring training games with the Diamondbacks, lots of opportunities that if we continue to develop this facility right, we'll be able to attract those big time events here. We have a, a great vision for GFRC. It's already a facility that is highly utilized in our region, but we want it to be bigger and better. We want to continue to reach out to other professional organizations to have them come here. We want to figure out how we can turn this into a, a truly a regional sports mecca that people want to come to and have all of these tournaments and excitement. And so there's grand things and exciting things on, on the horizon for this uh, GFRC facility.